I'm Professor Penn. I want to welcome you to conceptual art design and their modern methods. I want to find out from each of you what you intend to get out of this class. What is the medium that you enjoy? Is it modern? You even like art? Or are you using this just for another credit? There are no wrong answers, so you can be totally, totally honest. a local man. His name is Mitchell Burndry. And I have sent each of you on your student emails samples of his work so you get the idea. Watercolors. I like it. And you, sir? Uh, graffiti, I guess? I, I don't know. And you? Photography.
Andrew. Go talk to that girl, man. Please? No, man, not tonight. No. You need to get out there. It's a bad idea. And that girl was fucking hot. Come on. All right. Please. Will you watch us? I will. Did I look lonely to you? My friend Ryan over there wanted me to ask you out. <laughs> so what do you do? Uh, I'm studying art. More specifically, photography. Really? Yeah. I'm an art major. How have I not seen you around? Do you go to Sock? Um, it's her sister school. No shame in community college. Can I get another bike over here? Also, a water. What do you usually take pictures of? <clears throat> uh, usually landscape stuff. Um, <laughs> is that interesting to you? <laughs> uh, it is, yeah. I, um, I mean, I can do portrait stuff as well, but I just mainly like taking pictures of things that don't move. Hmm. So capture most out of it. <laughs> so I guess that means that you don't want to take my picture then, huh? <laughs> no, you're right. I don't want to take your picture. Ouch. You're too pretty for a picture. Okay. I've fallen for your pickup lines that don't exist. Perfect. And you can come take a walk with me. Listen, I'm gonna go have a smoke. Um, well, I see you out there. Okay. So, what happened, man? Did you scare her off? Do you want to know how to get the attention of a puppy dog? Confidence. Well, yeah, but what about that one? Like I said, it's a bad idea.
I need to talk to you a few minutes about something on page 14. Oh. You want to come with me? Okay, no big deal. Oh, and Andrew, hang in there. I got something else to talk to you about, too. Coffee? Yeah. Thank you. That's not very good. I, I don't need to be good, I just need to be right now. Do you have a suggestion then? Yeah. I don't know if I should be taking advice from strangers in the middle of the night. My name's Marissa. Now we're not strangers. I'm Andrew. So, what do you do? Um, I work for the Southern Oregon Journal, actually. Like, uh, news, headlines, ads, uh, pictures, mainly. Kind of whatever it is they throw at me. That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> is that why you carry the camera? Yeah, that's exactly why I carry the camera. You should let me take your picture. No. <laughs> no? No, um, photographers don't necessarily like getting their picture taken. I mean, you don't like paint the painter. We just don't tend to show up well on film. <laughs> well, the painter's getting painted tonight. Is there no way, like, I can get out of this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, just, just one picture. <laughs> okay. that uh, you do? I'm a teacher. Hmm. Yeah, kindergarten. 
Okay. That's a handful. <laughs> but. I bet. You enjoy that? I do. I love my job. That's good. It's good to enjoy. Enjoy what you do every day. Do you like what you do? <laughs> do I like what I do? It has its moments. It's a job. I used to like it. Do you usually go around in the middle of the night talking to random people? Is that just a new thing you're trying out? Always. No. <laughs> this is nice. It is. Do you, uh, you come here often? No. But I don't really get out often, so. <clears throat> and this is getting out. For me, this is getting <laughs> out. <laughs> you should probably get out more often. <sighs> I should. <laughs> so, do you live around here? Or? Um, kind of. Kind of? Kind of? You don't know where you live? Well. I know where I live, but I'm not so certain that a complete stranger should know where I live. I thought we weren't strangers anymore. Oh, yeah. Good point. <laughs> you did the whole I'm Marissa thing. Yeah. Well, if you uh, enjoyed this, I have to ask, do um, you want to get coffee sometime? Or? Yeah. yeah, I'd like that. I know that there's a place up the street. There is. They have good coffee. And even better croissants. <laughs>
You got some papers to file or something? Come on. You're a photographer, right? Yes, I'm a photographer. How, how long have how long you been doing that for? I don't know, like six, seven years. Okay, good. Listen, a girl just got murdered. Some psycho got a hold of her and turned her into a fucking Picasso painting. Man, there's shit all over the street, and I want to be first on this, okay? So get down there, take some pictures. I have a guy who knows you're coming. His name's Detective Belli. Talk to him. What do you want me to do? Like, who? You're a photographer, man. Take some fucking pictures. And don't forget your press pass. Contact the medical examiner. We need an ETA. We got media showing up. We need to get this body processed and out of here. Some kid from the journal. Just here to take pictures. Oh, it's really sweet. Are you fucking shitting me? You can't have one case in this little town without a reporter sticking his nose in it. Huh? It wasn't my call. I just found out a few minutes ago myself. Fucking toner. Who? Toner. Toner? Who the hell let him in on this? Chief. Ah. Geez. So he caved, right? That's that's. It's a murder investigation. It's not a damn circus.
So as I promised to bring you an example of art in everyday life, Andrew here, who once upon a time was one of you, consented to come and give us an example of his knowledge on SLRs. So please welcome Andrew Kayleen. Thank you, Professor. Uh, so today, like you said, we're going to be talking. Actually, can I get everyone up to the front? Pretty intimate group today. So the slow death of art begins. So today, we're going to be talking about SLRs. Does anyone know? What SLR stands for? Just off the top of your head. Uh, okay, it stands for single lens reflex. <clears throat> and uh, what that means is that the photographer sees exactly what is exposed to the film at the moment he actually presses down on the shutter. That's the basic, basic definition of it. After that, you can adjust it manually based on the single lens reflex that's provided by the camera itself. So um, now onto the lens. I mean, how would you take a picture without the lens? Um, more specifically, the lens acts as a uh, bent glass. So whatever you're taking a picture of actually converges at the same time that the light passes through. Thus far, I'm giving you your image. And on the focus of the camera, that one. Yeah, what's up? How does the camera actually capture the image? Okay, yeah, uh, fair question, definitely. Um, does anyone actually know the answer to that one? When light passes through the shutter, it flips. So there's mirrors within the camera. You got a top mirror and a bottom mirror. Um, basically, they work together, but they both do different things. Um, get rid of the top mirror for a second. Let me give you an example. Let's say uh, you were taking a picture without the top mirror. Um, so you got your aunt, your uncle, your grandpa, your lover, whatever you have in the frame. When you snap the picture, if it just passes through the lens and doesn't hit the top mirror, you're shown a distorted image, essentially the wrong image, a false perception of reality. From work. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I, um, <clears throat> I didn't recognize you because of your... Uh... Uh, yeah, I have my hair down. It's a little flare I'm trying to add. It looks nice. Thanks. Interesting, right? How one feature can make one totally forget what another one looks like. Have you given in the digital tidal wave at all? Or are you still clinging on to film? No, um, I prefer film. But at work, you know, they prefer digital, so... Well, it was nice seeing you. Good seeing you too. I have to go, but if I leave, you're not gonna forget me again, are you? No, of course not. <laughs> okay. Well, have a great day. All right, you too. Thank you.
What's up, man? Hey, what's been up with you lately? Like, you take a couple pictures and now you're a hermit. Um, I don't want to talk about it. Well, maybe you could talk about it at the bar tonight. It's going to be fun, man. I don't want to talk about it. Please? No. John's going to be there. Hat's going to be there. No. Hey, Kaylee. Come here. I need to talk to you for a minute. So, what about the bar? I don't know. I'll text you. You took those pictures of that girl. Did Robin have you do it? Listen, Andrew. I like you a lot. You take great pictures. I've been doing this for years. And this is not a major metropolitan daily. Small town, small stories. But this, this is a big story. And I saw those pictures that you took, and they made me sick. Honestly, if Robin had it his way, this would be his paper. But he's on thin ice as it is, and I don't need a good kid like you going out and doing that for him. When I picked you up, you were like, what, 20, 21? You were fresh and sincere, and the people in this town need that in their lives. So do it for them, and do it for me, okay? No, she no. no, she no, she wasn't raped, and that's that's what's weird about this. And that's just it. If it was, if it was something like that, it, this would make sense. But it doesn't. It's like we missed something. That's it. That's it. That's what we got. Just trying to send this message. Yeah. We got nothing. I, I think we need to revisit the crime scenes. We're not going to revisit the crime. We're not going to find anything new by doing that. Come on. You know what? Why don't, why don't you take a break? Yeah. We're both overloaded here. Just. Want to go grab lunch? No. Oh, thanks. Wife pack or something. Let me know if you find something. Yeah, I will. I'm going to stay here. I need to look into it. Hi. How can I help you? I'm looking for um, Detective Belli. And your name? Andrew. One moment. I'll call him and be back. So I was wondering if there's anything you can tell me about the girls. You know I can't talk about this stuff. It's confidential. Oh. Is there... Thanks, Tracy. Sure you don't want anything? I'm fine. Maybe I got a call last night. Maybe I didn't. Fuck you. I mean, like... Is there anything you can tell me considering I was, like, like a part of it? You might be able to help me with something. Okay. Okay, well, you're a photographer. Familiar with cameras, right? Mm hmm Okay, well, you found a frame counter. Frame counter from like a really old 35 millimeter. Sure. Any reason someone would leave that line around? No. Uh, no. You'd have to take it out. I mean, you'd have to actually physically take it out of the camera. So it'd be on purpose? Yes, be intentional. 
there any reason somebody would mark everything except the number five? Mark it. Mark everything except the number five. Yeah, on the frame counter. I'm not sure, no. Hold that thought. Do you want me to come down there and hold your hand? No, I already told you what you should be looking for. You know, no. I'll be there in ten. Yeah. Alright. Have to go. Okay. So, this has been fun. Appreciate the information. You asking all these questions, it's kind of annoying, but also a little suspicious. Suspicious. Okay. Let me be the detective and let me solve this. Enjoy the fries. What the fuck? was the one who called earlier. So, you're here for the burned drape pieces? Okay. Let me look real quick. Looks like we have it in the back corner. That'll be right this way. So, what was this for again? I'm a photographer from the paper. the paintings you're looking for. So how long have these been up? They've been up for three weeks now. So I need to finish closing now. If there's anything else you need from me, let me know. Thank you. I'll be back.
So, ask me about my day. Yeah, yeah. Um, how was your day? Well, some of the kids were sick at school, which is kind of annoying, but it's, it's what I do. Yeah, I don't know how you do it. Do what? Be a preschool teacher? No, just like be on all the time. I mean, I, I get onto one thing and on another, I just get really distracted, so. I don't know, it's just kind of my, my personality. Yeah. <laughs> well, what were your parents like? Loud. <laughs> my, my mom passed away, as you know. What? Scream! Scream! No, wait, no, wait. Scream! Hey, Detective, um, it's Andrew. Um, I found out something about the case and I just need to talk to you. It's really urgent, so please call me back if you can. Um, uh, just call me back. Hey, um, is there a way we could maybe reschedule this at another time? I'm so sorry I'm having to do this right now. What, what happened? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine. I, there's just something I have to go do. Please understand. Trust me. Hey, you look beautiful.
been? I've been busy, I'm sorry. I've been busy with what? To the start, what? The honor. Did you talk to Hollinger yet? I talked to him, it was like two weeks ago. Talking about how the photos are too graphic for the paper or something. Well, they found her. What? Jill. Jill, they found her. I didn't even know that she was gone, but Of course, we yeah. didn't. Uh, never really seemed to notice her, but she always noticed you. I'm sorry. Is this like important? Fuck She's fucking part? dead. Yeah. She's been dead for a while. House has been keeping it like low key, but yeah, she's fucking dead. Where, where was that at? Uh, it's like uh, Orchard. I think they said Orchard uh, North in here. Are you gonna have like some sort of reaction to I'm, this? Like you just had a coworker fucking die. So, uh. I'm sorry, I just don't know what to say. You're, uh. Kind of freaking some people out. Yeah, like who? Uh, me for one. I don't know. <laughs> Marissa, maybe? What's she have to do? When do you even get time she, to talk to her? She's just concerned, man. Okay, fuck this, dude. I don't have time for it. And I'm gonna go, we'll talk later. So I can bound your hands again. Damn, show my damn mother away. Fucking here? Huh? I don't know. You break into my fucking house? Do you know why I'm here, Mitchell? Oh, I don't know why you're here. Bust into my house. Fucking beat the shit. You see these? You see these fucking pictures? What the fuck are they? I've never seen anything like that in my fucking life! Shut up. I see two dead girls. In the pool of blood dress look like your fucking paintings. You fucking did this. I didn't do that, man. What the fuck? God! Fuck! I need you to use your fucking brain, okay? You think I did that? You got some sort of a fucking copycat or something. Man. Mitchell, if you didn't do it, then who did? I don't know, man. I, 
I don't know. Fuck, Mitchell. Stunk! Fucking think! Is it okay? I, there's this asshole who's following me around. This arrogant little prick thinks he's better than me or something like that. He's showing me these ripoffs he did on my work. I, that's all I can think of. Who the fuck was he? I don't know what the fuck his name was! This is a young guy about your age, man! Okay, okay, shut, shut up. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do, Mitchell. Are you listening? Look at me. Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take your picture. And if I find out you're lying to me, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna take your picture again. And I swear to God, it's not gonna look as good as those. And Mitchell, don't even try to fucking call the cops. Do you understand me? Do you understand? Smile for the fucking camera. Fuck you. Ryan. <clears throat> Ryan, who was she? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Who? No, the, the girl at the bar, man. Who was she? Yeah, I don't know. I think we went to school with her and stuff, and she went to the bar class, but I don't know. No, I mean, what? I mean, like, who was she with? Where was she going? Whoa, oh, man. Whoa, whoa. Just calm yourself down for a second. Just don't worry yourself over this. This was a long time ago. Okay? No, where are you at right now?
had this friend. He was uh, 17. I knew him from high school. We were pretty good friends. Enough that he let me in the places others didn't. There weren't a lot of times we hung out, but he always made me feel important, which to this day, I still never knew why. Eventually his girlfriend stopped caring. His parents stopped caring too. It was like all of a sudden the love fell from his life. He buried himself in school. He was so far away from it all. It was dreadful. He created this overwhelming sadness around me. I couldn't imagine one person's life changing so fast. And then he left me a note. Out of nowhere, he left me a note. I'm out in the woods. We had this spot, so I jumped in my car. Nothing felt right. It's almost as if I knew what he meant and where he was. I knew exactly how he felt. Months of anguish and sorrow, I finally knew how he felt. I pulled up to a narrow opening in the woods. I saw him, so I got out of my car. In the moment, I had a chance to say one thing to him. Anything. And there he was. Well, he was gone. Mrs. Donnelly? I had a few questions about your daughter, Shelby. Can I come in? Who are you? My name what? is... What is this for? My name is Andrew Kayleen. Uh, I work for the Southern Oregon Journal. Uh, it'll only take a minute. I've been looking into the recent killings in the in the area, and I have reason to believe that your daughter might be related. Do you know who Mitchell Burndry is? I, he's a local artist. Uh, I wouldn't have made the connection, but then I... Uh, I saw this. Wait a minute. I thought you said you were with the paper. No, no, I am. I am. Show you my, my card. All right, here, here's the thing, though. I'm really close, all right? Now, the, anything I find, the information, it's not going to the front page. 
It's going straight to the police. Southern Oregon Are you okay? I was just asking your wife some questions about, about your daughter. Are you a detective? No, no, I'm not a detective. I, I work for the Southern Oregon Journal. I think you better leave. All right. Thank you for your time, man. Shelby dated him a couple times, and and uh, I told the police about him, and they they didn't do a thing. He's got had this strange air about him. Since Shelby died, I, I haven't heard his name again. serial killer is mimicking artwork. This is the third scar by Mitchell Berndry. Notice how it's very similar to the cuts on the victim up here. We've got gold lines coming off kind of like the blood flow in that pattern. You with me so far? You're really, you're really pushing it, fella. Okay. Well, hear me out. This gets better. So here we have the black wing also by Mitchell Berndry. Now, granted, he takes a few more liberties turning the victim into a tree, but you can definitely see this isn't a coincidence. So what are you telling me? You're taking advanced art classes at night? This is what you got to give me here? No, no, not quite. And I know what you're gonna say. No, you don't. But our friend from the journal, he kind of led me to this. That guy bugs you. What the fuck does he have to do with this, huh? I'm not sure yet. But I don't think we need to be turning this into a fucking witch hunt. Okay. I could safely assume you checked out this Burner character, right? I did. What? And his alibi does check out. He was up in Canada. He's been up there the last two and a half weeks in an art exhibit. I verified he was there. Flights, all that does check out. You didn't just take his word for it, right? No. You checked it out. No. He got back into town just in the last couple days. He had no fucking clue about these murders. All right, listen up. Second murder scene, right? We already talked about art and the murders, right? And you're just... But we find that frame counter. And what do we find? Two shot, four left, right? Is this guy trying to tell us he's gonna try to do this four more times? And if that's the case, and if you're right about this art connection, where do we find those four paintings? What's up? Maybe we need to do some digging. Art exhibit, downtown, Mitchell Berndry. Okay. Let's do it.
Can I help you? Are you Julian Logan? Andrew. Yeah. Why don't you come on in and take a seat? The last time I saw you was, uh... What was that like? Two... Three years ago? Yeah, something like that. You, uh... Want something to drink? Um... No, I'm not thirsty. So, uh, what's this about? Do you remember Shelby Donnelly? Shelby Donnelly? Um, no, no, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't sound familiar. You know what, actually, yeah, yeah, I do. Dated her, right? Sure. Yeah. And she she was murdered, right? That was the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just uh, her and I were lovers of sorts, so it just is kind of a tough emotional burden for me to bear. You understand? I tend to try to forget it. You mind if I uh? Ask you a question, Andrew. Yeah, go ahead. What do you do? Like, for a living? Um, I'm a photographer. I take pictures for the journal. And, uh, does, does that, uh, thrill you? I'd rather be taking pictures of something else, but... I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's not exciting, I mean, if that's what you're asking. Then. And, uh, why are you asking about Shelby, Detective? Well, serial killers, it's, it's exciting stuff, I gotta say. Sick fuck. And is he, though? I mean, I feel like maybe he's got something pretty beautiful in the works. If you think about it. Let me explain it to you, see. You have an artist. And a serial killer. What's the difference? I mean, one might attract more attention than the other, but... Uh, you remember, uh, conceptual art design and their modern methods, right? And as, uh, Professor Penn so mildly put it, as it's all subjective. And see, subjectivity sure is strange. One can even debate the subjectivity of subjectiveness, thus furthering my point. And see, how can you say that something's wrong if, if it thinks it's always right? And killing people is an art? Some sort of talent? And uh, your lackluster approach as a detective is a talent? Let's not forget that all these victims, they had flaws. Now, maybe they, maybe they wanted to change, but they didn't. And that's the whole point. Maybe they were more monstrous than the monster. Did you ever think about that? You were the judge of morals. No. 
No, just, uh... Just an opinion, Andrew. You don't look too good. I mean, you look like you haven't slept in weeks. And you're just knocking on strangers' doors, asking all these questions, and... I mean, you're saying that people are scared of this guy, right? You should be careful. Are those yours? Do you take photos? One could say that. You know, I'm gonna find out who's doing this. I hope you do. Everything you know about Shelby Donnelly. You know, I've got a, a red light room in the back. On second thought, maybe I should just go. Thank you for the tea. Address I was checking up on last the Loton, Lincoln Ocean Tom, Union Nora. Yeah, yeah, can you get that for me again? All right. Can you show me en route to that location? I don't need backup. I'll be fine. All right. Thanks. Damn it. What do you mean he's there? Yeah. All right. I'll be there in a minute. You a fan of Burndry? His uh, colors of red and all that's just quite delicate. I have to say he's fantastic. Are you uh, a fan of art? I am, but none of this new age shit. In fact, Burnery, 
his art, to me, it's a little messy. Why are you here? Well, it seems that people are uh, really enjoying my art. And what art are you referring to? Well, my art that is, uh, I mean, it sounds a little pretentious, but you know, all of us are. How do you feel about forgers? I think they're full of shit. Hmm. See, I, uh, I disagree. You see, forgers are what make the world go around. It's all just recycling these days anyways. Sometimes you have to learn from the greats. To be a great. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, I'm sure that you saw my, uh, my paintings in my house. Those copies of Burnley's artwork. Yeah, you see, soon I'll have my own. My own of complete originality. A masterpiece, if you will. You should really check it out. I mean, it's fantastic. Once it's all finished, I mean, if you guys are into that kind of thing. You wouldn't happen to own any cameras, would you? Yes. Uh -huh. You know, but really, I should be going, so. Uh, well, before you do, you wouldn't mind if we got some fingerprints you know, while you're here? No. I'll give you all five. Andrew, it's Belli. You were right about Julian. I, I really need you to call me back. Call me when you get this, all right? Hey, Horton, how many is that? We got five.
Zia, you and I were, were the same. We wanted to put new meaning into art, into the world. What the fuck are you talking about? You, you remember uh, back in uh, college? Oh. You, you remember um, Mitchell Brandy, right? See, we wanted to put new meaning into it, make it new again, recreate it, if you will. That night, we did what we both desired. We watched a beautiful killing transpire. We struck a stroke of genius as we guttered her in the street. You remember that? I wanted redemption. I wanted to change them. The ones played by the black. They were so sad. They were so sad. I wanted to kill them. took what was pitiful and made it beautiful. We both know you wanted to create again. You're just saving the world, Andrew. Choose 
beating him. Why don't I want you to kill him? You said you were fucking gonna do that. You know, beasts kill each other. Slit his fucking throat. You want me to slit his fucking throat? Yeah. Take the fucking You're knife. You're changing the fucking Take the knife. knife. Oh. Evolution. Survival. Calm yourself down. Stop. All right, move your fucking. Shut up. Come on. All right, move your fucking hand. Do I don't want to fucking cut you. Fast. Please. Quick. We, the human race, we can appreciate art. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I'm talking yeah. about! We can appreciate art. You understand? So in this world, this dimension, killing is art. And you will feel oh, good about yeah. it! Fuck you! Yeah? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, build yourself up. I got it. I fucking murdered you, you fucker! Damn anyone who tells us otherwise.